Hello everyone, I am actually considered tall according to Super Alex 641, also tessellating hexagons, and we're back with some more jazz punk, and we're actually entering the end game, believe it or not. I mean, it's a fairly lengthy end game, but an end game nonetheless. Now, we have this thingy thing, we're... We've come to whatever the number was, Pleasance Avenue, to rescue our beloved director, even though no one knows who he is in my audience, apparently. He's the guy who's in charge of our agency, we're like spies or some shit, and this is this is a molecule of some description. I, I forget if that's exactly the right term, whatever. Hello. In a manner of speaking. I'll just fumigate your ass instead. Well, here we are. At the apartment of Pleasance Avenue. Work. I'll be here if you need me. And that I appreciate the humor here. Now, even though this is kind of the start of the end game, there's there's a whole load of side stuff. This this is the first of the side things. And is it just me? Is there something really unsettling about loads of small things all moving? De ah, debugging. Ah, I only just got the joke. There are just so many funnies there. Anyway, like, like like small objects kind of all moving in not quite unison in different directions. Like, is, is I, a, a, am I the only one who finds that ever so slightly creepy? Excellent. Praise me some more. Bitch, I'm not even human though. Oh, I intended to, no matter what you said. Well, I'm not sure if that's a good thing or not. And you're looping. Hello there. Well. No further comments, Your Honor. Toast! I could I could shoot toast at things. Or actually, I can't. Uh, I faced this glitch last time I, like, in my previous playthrough as well. This thing is supposed to shoot toast, but it all just gets stuck in the air. I'm not entirely sure what the deal there. And the toast, toaster just flew away, and there's all this toast just stuck in the air. Uh, game devs, you might want to work on that. If you still care about this game, I don't know, it's been a while. Polystyrene, tantalum, ceramic, I don't know what the last one is. Well, I mean, I, I can read it, I'm just saying. Yay! That was unnecessary. Caffeine! Yay, coffee! Yeah, coffee! And flying toast. Is it even toast? It's just kind of bread. Space toast from nowhere. Oh, fruit. What? Oh. Oh, well, wait, wait. It's like the fruit ninja again, but a bit harder because you don't have a sword, you just have a reticle. Why am I alone? Can I slice something more than once and get multiple points for it again? Because that happened last time. Oh, that orange is sort of stuck up there. There's another why am I alone? I love that meme. Yay, 11 out of 12. Like I said, loads of side stuff. Can I climb inside? Oh, you want me to put something in there? I don't have anything to put in there. Should I? Am I doing it wrong? I, I, I'm sort of not familiar with this part of the game because it is kind of the end game. Sort of. It's the start of the end game anyway. Uh, okay then. I have fourth degree burns all over my entire face. You see, this is why you don't make up stupid words for your grandmother. Uh, We've been burns. over this. Ah, uh, I have four yeah. degree burns all over Let this my be a lesson to you, as if the pigeon pie wasn't lesson enough. Oh, tessellating hexagons, hello. I do like it when, when that happens, where I come across my name in real life. Because this is totally real life. This will be important later. It's a tube, it's an aesthetic tube. I, I, I like the aesthetic tube. I forget how I proceed, actually. I'm not trying to proceed, I just... I don't want to do the side thing that will result in progress happening. I don't remember what it is. Pretty as fuck! After x-rays were discovered... That's enough of that. But I, I do remember sometime recently describing CDs, well, like like the the shiny side of a CD as the pimpy side. And, and that's not entirely wrong. And Heavy car. Well, why not? How, how do I... Okay. Careful. Delightful. It's funny, I, I do, like, do my nails, but I never do my toenails. Whoa! Now let's paint our nails! It's like you read my mind, except you're talking about feet. Snail polish, I get it. 
Well, you shall have blue. And I shall have red because... I missed. Because I am one sexy motherfucker. Hopefully, that wasn't... Wasn't toxic. Oh, there's another fucking... Did I mention this episode's late and I apologize because I have no decent time to record something on a Wednesday. Anyway, it's another pimpy thing. You are listening to the heartbeat of the Sage computer. Delightful. Do you want to have some video vision? Well, why not? I love this show! What am I even looking at? Want to listen to some compact records? I'll just leave it on that. And we also have this space-time controller. I'm all dizzy! Oh, I'm all fuzzy! Delightful. Uh, yeah, I don't really... Like, when I'm recording something for Monday, I'll do it on the preceding Sunday. And if I'm, if I'm recording something for a Friday, I'll do it on Thursday. And if I'm doing it for the weekend, I'll do it on the Friday, probably. Or the Saturday, failing that. But I don't really have a decent day to record for Wednesday. I mean, you could say, oh, just do it on Tuesday, but, like, all these other days... The house is empty apart from me. Like, you know, um, well, Sunday, that's not true. Still, uh, like, Tuesday, I'm doing other stuff all day. Plus, that's usually when I go out and do stuff out there in the real world anyway. So I don't really have a good day to record for Wednesdays, and that's why this te typically tends to get the shaft when it comes to recording. Anyway, um, I don't remember, I, st I still don't remember which side thing it is that triggers the next thing that happens. I think I just have to tit around for a while. Yay, bottle spinning. Oh, me? I buy and sell people like you all the time. A contract a day keeps the lawyers at bay. Yeah, don't mind me. I got everything I need right here. Yeah, well, I don't normally like to eat children, but... Well, you can't put a price on trash. You gotta... You got any right? You got any rats? Uh, you're not getting enough rats in your diet. You can't put a price on smegma. And that's enough of you. Oh, oh, that's adorable. Ah, uh, it's a reference to what? What's it called? Cat, cat lateral damage, I think it is. That. Oh, God, the frame rate is just all over the place. See, ooh, brain. Like, I, I am very much a cat person. And I, I live with three cats, and it's sort of difficult to tell at, what, at this point which idiosyncrasies are my own, like, which ones have the cats got from me and which ones have I got from the cats. But, like, I don't appreciate when people say, oh, this is all cats do, oh, cats aren't capable of love, and, and like, first of all, take your dog snobbery and shove it, because, like, I cannot stand when people have, um, the, the whole cat versus dog debate. First of all, why not just love them both? Second, cats are superior anyway. Lol. But, um, in all seriousness, cannot stand it when people are prejudiced against cats because, oh, all they do is destroy everything and piss and shit everywhere. Like, no. If, if you hate cats, you've never got to know them. Snuffle munchkin. But yeah, if, if, if you hate cats, you've never known a cat. And, like, certainly from where I'm sitting, dogs are just sort of stupid, really. I, oh, I kind of need to hear this, don't I? Yay, yellow, it's a colour. Right nose, blue. How many hands do I have? Well, damn, that went well. Did I, did I ever point out, up to this point, that that's what we've been using as appendages? Which actually reminds me, uh, my mother pointed out that in this game, the humans don't really look like humans, but the spiders look an awful lot like spiders. Like, racist much? Okay then. I get it, because we were picking a lock, but it was also a nose. Funny. Anyway, murder time! Eh, yeah, close enough. Now, as I said, I'd- oh. I think there's an achievement for using this. But I already have the achievement, so you have no way of knowing. 
Um, Polly Blank, I think you're doing it wrong. Now, why why are bidets considered quintessentially European? Like, I, I just I just don't trumpets that are also martini glasses. Yay! Hello. How's my breath? I don't know. Get out of the way so I can grab a toothbrush and shove it down your throat. That came out slightly wrong. Because it sounded suggestive. Yay, Listerine! Or chlorine, that works too. I think I, I once had a dream about getting chlorinated to death. Well, not, not to death, but just getting chlorine did. Not sure why. And I, I don't even know how I know what that would feel like for that matter. I remember it burning the inside of my nose. Okay, this is happening. Don't laugh at me, you chest of drawers. You spoony bard. Oh, it's it's the stuff from the first two cases. They're not really cases. I'm, I'm in the drawer now because I am part of this experience. I think the first two missions, I think I should call them, because, as I said, people have had trouble understanding this game. First of all, there's not really much here to understand. You know, Don't try to think about it too hard, because it's not, you know, it's... it's eh. Just, we're playing as Agent Polly Blank. We're, we work for an agency kind of secret spy sort of place. We go on missions and... Well, hello there. Do you need a hand? I, I, I'm sorry, I, I, I couldn't think of anything better on the spot. Oh, well, we've, we've done the thing. I think we just had to come in here and see that, that the editor wasn't really here. Anyway, I, like I promised, that tube was in fact important. Purify. Okay. <laughs> no I will outpillow you, you bitch. This is Sparta! Actually, it's... 120 something Pleasance Avenue of memory serves, but still. Um, now, I might have to cut this episode short again just so we can plot and whatnot because we we're about to go a bit further into the endgame. Ah, you know what? We, 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 can, we can do a bit more endgame, I think. Quick, look behind you. I knew it! Over here, Polly Blank. No, oh, over here. No, no, a, li a little more. Um, a bit more. Uh, a little sit a little to your left. No, your your other left. Go back, back, go back a bit. There, there we stop. Yes, there, there we go. All right. Well, hello to you. Ah, Polly Blank, we've been expecting you. I'll get right to the point. You've taken something of mine, and so I've taken something of yours. That's the overarching principle. They've taken some of your important directors, i.e., me. And it's imperative that you get me back in the right hands, i.e. my own. Improvise. I know you'd do well by me. As you always say. Polly Blank, I challenge you to a game of sport. A whole sport? Should you prove victorious, I will free the director unharmed. As I won the dice roll backstage, I'll go first. I guarantee you, backstage. there will be one hint of foul play. I feel like there's going to be more than one hint of foul play. Oh, I called it. A home run? I must be a bit off today. Your turn, Polly Blank. Please select the sports stick of your choice. So this is kind of what the end game consists of. So what we're going to end up with? I went with that one myself. Yay, sports stick. Now there is no way that you can you can beat him. Certainly in this first one. I think you I think you almost can in some of the later ones. I'm not sure. The point is, he, he's the bad guy, and this isn't supposed to end well. Anyway, come to think of it, we're secret agents. What does it matter if you know, if we lose at a game of sport? And the controls for this, are, I remember the controls for this being kind of wonky. Because everything else is in, in the game is inverted, except for this. But then, every, if you invert the controls, then this becomes inverted at the expense of everything else. Like, can you not? Anyway, we'll, we'll we'll explore out here a little bit. Can I, can I zap the sharky things? There's some stuff inside that I didn't do because I did the wrong thing. Very sadness. You sir are a pie. I can't even zap you. That that disappoints me. So, this ought to give you something of an impression of what the end game is going to be like. 
Um, sounds like I'm wrapping up the video. I'll do a bit more exploring and then we'll be on our merry way. Oh, they have the receptionist as well. I don't think I can do anything about you at the moment. Y you're zap proof. I'm guessing you're zap proof too. Everyone is zap proof and there's a blimp. Well, we have two more holes of this and then something up here, presumably. Flying golf cars, but that's going to have to wait. See, I didn't do the other thing in there with that woman, I don't think. But I showed off some stuff, so... Uh, I think this is glass, so that's why we're not falling through. Either that or we're just Jesus, I'm not entirely sure. Well, I feel like I should show off the rest of this golfing segment, but I'm not going to because I'm an ass. Oh, it's that magazine again. So, in the grand scheme of things, what is it that he wants back? Is it the kidney? Is it the, the tape from the consulate? I don't know. It, 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 he, he complained that we took something of his, but he stole it back, as we found out when we were going through his bedroom. So, why are we having to play sport to rescue our director? Uh, I'm sure all this... <laughs> none of this and more will be revealed in the next episode, so I have been and will continue to be tessellating hexagons, calling time on a rather peculiar episode, because... I don't know, I'm not at my best at the moment, but I'll see you in the next one nonetheless. And hopefully that won't suck quite as much as this did.